Hey guys, welcome to Hershey's Garage, and on today's episode, we're going to go over what to do with that pesky little wire that's labeled dimmer, and the other one that's labeled illumination for your stereo, and what to do with them. Okay, I get a lot of guys and gals that ask me this one question repeatedly. Which wire do I hook up? The dimmer or the illumination? Or both? And the quick and easy answer that I usually reply with is, well, it, it really depends on the application. And so that's where we get into this video. And it's because in my many installation hack jobs, uh, I've done a lot of the scenarios uh, that I'm going to show you as well as fried a few circuits and dashes and once even I've got uh, a wire underneath the dash to uh, smoke uh, pretty good and uh, it really kind of scared me so that's why I'm doing this uh, video is because uh, I want you guys to uh, um, you know not make the mistake same mistakes that I did and uh, you know you pay in time and and energy for it all right, first things first, let's go over what uh, the illumination wire does. Officially, this wire adjusts the brightness into the display on the aftermarket radio's faceplate. This function is governed by whether or not the vehicle's lights are turned on. This is uh, not mandatory for proper stereo operation, but so many installers leave this, and me, leave this unhooked for maximum display brightness. However, if you want your particular particulars radios readout not to be blindingly bright at night, make this connection with other wires in your harness. And in the video that you're watching right now, uh, I'm showing you the difference when I activate my headlights versus uh, when I shut them off. Now the dimmer wire puts out between 0 volts and 12 volts depending on the brightness you have the headlights turned to. This allows the radio to dim the rest of the indicator lights, uh, but it depends on whether you have this uh, option in your uh, stereo itself or if it's even an option on the wiring harness for your factory setup. So that, that is a big uh, differ there. So again, it depends on your application. So uh, to get right to it, in my application, the head unit I bought, which was the Hickety brand touchscreen tablet basically, it only came with an illumination wire. So I only spliced that wire into the after aftermarket harness because obviously uh, that's what, that was my only option. Technically I could have had uh, just left it out but uh, I wanted that uh, illumination function to work properly, so I decided to hook it up. Now on the aftermarket harness, it was a little different story. They added the dimmer wire as well as the illumination wire, which makes a lot of people start to get the confusion bug going on. And uh, that, that uh, basically uh, in turn makes us want to hook both of the wires together uh, or flip a coin to see uh, which one determines the, the proper outcome, you know, that way. Okay, so let's wrap this up here. Some of you might like a little visual to see because uh, it helps you learn a little bit better than just uh, somebody pointing out some pictures to you. Okay, so here we have the illumination and uh, you have to use your imagination a little bit. This is the harness from your uh, stereo system that you get and it says has like mine did the illumination wire and it, and it said illumination on there and then here you have the two from your factory harness sometimes you only may have just the illumination but mine again had the illumination which is this guy right here and the dimmer which it says dimmer right there so what you want to do is you're going to take this to this guy the illumination and tie them together don't do the rookie move where you do these two you put the dimmer and the illumination together on the factory side and then put that 
and tie those all together with the illumination there. That is a no-no. You either do none and it'll still work or you do the two illumination wires which sometimes these might be different colors like this one might be orange and this one might be the orange and white wire in my case the dimmer was the orange and white wire but uh, you don't necessarily look at the, the the colors of the the wires necessarily sometimes they work uh, in at that favor and sometimes they don't but um, you definitely want to put these two together uh, especially if they say both illumination on there because and then your stereo will work as intended and turn off and on with your headlight switch uh, the brightness that is so thank you for watching hopefully that uh, cleared up a few things and if you like the video hit the subscribe and comment and tell me if that works for you and and you show me some of your videos and if it doesn't work for you then I guess give me the thumbs down and tell me what I did wrong so thanks guys very much and we'll see you on the next one